everyone, Comic Reviewer here. This time reviewing on the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Now, I actually remember in 2004, there was a lot of promotional material for SpongeBob, for the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. There was trailers, TV ads, a tie-in game in that. And I remember watching it on DVD years ago as a kid, and watching it again on Netflix with my younger sister Tilly. And I wanted to watch it again, just to see what it was like, and relive my childhood. Now, originally this was supposed to be a season final, which would explain so many things ab about the movie, and how events are not as brought up as much. Now, the premise of the movie is basically about King Neptune's crown, who is stolen by Plankton, whose goal is to basically freeze Mr. Crab to steal the Krusty, Krusty Crab recipe. So, this, it's mainly up to Spongebob and Patrick to go on a quest, quest to get Neptune's crown back. Now, the premise of the film is basically about Spongebob, who after being denied his chance of being manager of Krusty Crab 2, wants to, you know, prove himself and accept the responsibility of it. And we see Spongebob and Patrick going on this one-man quest to learn about themselves, and basically, at the same time, learning to accept who they are, despite what people think about them. Now, it's kind of interesting that this King Neptune is much different from the one from the TV show, which is heavily implied that this King Neptune in the movie could just be a different version, or presumably a twin brother. I would say that, yeah, we've all... This King Neptune sounds a bit like a, a, a Jewish stereotype, but again, it's kind of shown that he's quite childish, immature, and gets mad at the slightest things. So you also have his daughter Mindy, voiced by Scarlett Johansson, who's a bit more reasonable and responsible than him, and at the same time, trying to help Patrick and Spongebob in her own way. Now, I think there's another problem that having Plankton as the main villain has been done before. I mean, we all know Plankton is not going to succeed, and I feel like they could have had a different villain for it. But I get it sometimes with movies, they'll usually have a TV character and promote them to the movie villain. So I feel making Plankton the main villain is a bit of a waste, and it seems like they could have had more time to build up with it. So, and I feel like there could have been more time to have Spongebob's other friends and relatives and all that be more involved. They don't as much, but I get it sometimes with a movie, it will do what it can. And I also do admit, I'm actually impressed with some of the animation with the Cyclops, also with the pirates watching the movie. I was kind of expecting the pirates that they would have added in Patchy and his pet parrot to be there for the movie. So I get it, sometimes with a movie, it will differ from what the original source was. And I think what's actually interesting is that by the end of the movie, you never see this version of King Neptune, Mindy, the Krusty Krab 2, again, or Dennis. So, which means that this was easily retconned, or just put under the shelf. And I feel like with Dennis, who's going to be this bounty hunter-like character, you can tell that they don't really do much with him, and he's just like the, the character trope, Cold Silent Assassin, and that's what it is. Now, I do admit the movie has an important moral about accepting who you are, and don't let what other people say, say, get to you. And I think, at the same time, SpongeBob is quite responsible when the situation calls for it. So I think somewhere... The Spongebob Squarepants movie is enjoyable. Not only does it do references to alcohol when Spongebob and Patrick order Go Gooby Goba um, Sundays and make it treated like alcohol and even see Spongebob getting a hangover, I think it does a good job, but I think it should have been better as a TV special because I feel the movie reeks of that. It feels like a TV special that I think they originally had planned. So in my opinion... It's still enjoyable, and despite the movie being 87 minutes, 
it still wraps itself up well and tries to be a good season final. So it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still right. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.